инициативность и предприимчивость. Эта компетентность, конечно, пересекается с, про, с программой Афлатота и э, дает возможность нам реализовать эту компетентность в системе общего среднего образования вообще и дошкольного образования в частности. Сейчас вы видите, что... Э, э, Опрос, который проводило Министерство образования, 70% опрошенных изъявили желание заниматься развитием своей финансовой грамотности. И это очень хороший показатель для наших и преподавателей, и учителей, ну и, конечно же, другого субъекта образования учащегося. Сейчас мы представляем вам две модели, которые дают возможность проследить, как развивается и реализуется программа Афлатот. С левой стороны это модель формирования и развития социально-финансовой грамотности обучающихся дошкольного образования. Но для нас очень важно системный подход. Поэтому в этой модели представлено дошкольное образование и общее среднее образование. Задачи, содержание. Содержание, вы видите, это третья позиция. Пять программ, которые реализуются в дошкольном образовании. Ты, я и Афлатун, я и моя семья, я мои друзья, я и общество, я и деньги. Параллельно для общего среднего образования есть сквозные содержательные линии, которые реализуются через элективные курсы. Финансовая азбука для второго класса, финансовая арифметика – третий, финансовое поведение – четвертый, финансово-грамотный пользователь – шестой, прикладные финансы – восьмой класс, экономика, финансы – девятый и финансовая грамотность – десятый, одиннадцатый класс. Методы и формы работы, конечно, пересекаются с теми методами и формами, которые реализуются нашими коллегами в других институтах последипломного педагогического образования. Я их не буду озвучивать. А вот на чем я хотел бы остановиться, на этой модели справа желтым. Это образовательный проект обучения учащихся школ-интернатов. Для нас это принципиально важно, потому что эта категория детей есть та, которая очень тяжело им социализироваться. Категория детей, которым финансовая грамотность поможет в жизни быть конкурентно спроможным, сдатным. И поэтому мы разработали такой проект, над которым работаем в интернатных закладах. Базовыми есть и наши предприятия, и финансовые структуры, и банки, и целый ряд других партнеров, которые помогают учащихся интернатных заведений иметь такие навыки. С правой стороны, и это для нас очень важно, а как же реализация программы Афлатот может быть эффективно использоваться, если не будет подготовлен учитель, педагогический работник. Поэтому мы разработали вот такую модель подготовки педагогических работников Николаевского областного института последипломного педагогического образования 
по формированию финансовой грамотности обучающихся. Опять же, слева задача для педагогических работников детских дошкольного образования и справа педагогические работники учреждений общего среднего образования. Если для дошкольного образования, то, конечно, что базовая есть программа Афлатот. Для общего среднего образования содержание реализуется через методики обучения и организацию элективных курсов финансовой грамотности. А вот уже образовательный проект, о котором я выше говорил, предпринимательская компетентность к путь к успешной жизни, это уже наш авторский продукт для интернатных учреждений образования. Мы определили активные формы и методы работы, повышения квалификации педагогических работников, дифференцируя их и работая с учреждениями образовательными, сотрудничая с различными финансовыми учреждениями, предприятиями, где наши педагогические работники и есть возможность расти профессионально и на достаточном высоком уровне реализовывать методику работы по программе Афлато. Надеемся, что результатом нашей такой программы и слева, и справа будет повышен уровень профессиональной компетентности педагогических работников учреждений дошкольного общего среднего образования, что касается формирования и развития финансовой грамотности. Очень важно, что сейчас я демонстрирую фотографии тех методической и практической работы, которая организовывается на партнерских отношениях всеми субъектами этой деятельности. Воспитатели, дети, родители, учреждения финансовые, предприятия и так дальше. Проводятся различные мастер-классы, квесты, тренинги, открытые мероприятия для педагогов в заведении дошкольного образования. Также проводятся и для педагогических работников учреждений общего среднего образования. Вот вы видите рабочие тетради и другие дидактические материалы. Вот фотография наш директор банка, приватбанка, который помогает педагогическим работникам в подготовке к занятиям с учащимся. Работают творческие группы, которые разрабатывают модели занятий, обменимся опытом с другими педагогическими работниками Украины, таких же институтов, как мы, согласовывая нашу работу с Министерством образования. Ну, наш, наш взгляд в этот период тяжелой пандемии, карантина, мы эту работу активизируем в дистанционном формате. И вы видите, здесь представлено несколько образцов, программ и названий тех мероприятий, которые были в нас проведены в режиме онлайн, дистанционно. Это и ток-шоу «Афлатот», и литературный круг, и телемосты, и смарт-боты, и ток-шоу, игровые различные фестивали, и акции, ярмарки экономических надежд. Проект «Афлатот» и «Николаевщина» был репрезентирован на 10-й международной выставке «Современные заведения Украины» и по, э, через Центр развития ребенка «Гармония» Южноукраинского городского совета и получил золотую медаль. Мы, конечно, гордимся таким достижением наших коллег. Э, они, есть, они являются партнерами института. Изучается опыт 
воспитателей, методистов, которые подают документы на присвоение звания воспитатель-методист. Вот вы видите, Спека Елена Викторовна, тот же центр гармония, Моисеенко Оксана, это уже Николаевский дошкольный заклад города Николаева, Калиниченко Галина, Вознесенск, Працё Вита Лариса, Первомайс, Навродская Елена, Николаевский район, Моисеенко Оксана, Николаевский район, Левицкая Любовь, Гармония, Южноукраинская. Поэтому, подытоживая то, что наработано педагогическими работниками Николаевщины совместно с Министерством образования, мы выстроили те векторы педагога 21, 21 столетия, которые для нас очень важны. Педагог 21, 21 столетия – это прежде всего компетентный специалист с четкой ориентацией на профессиональное и личностное развитие и саморазвитие. Поэтому те модели, которые, которые я сегодня представил, способствуют реализации этого вектора. И очень важен педагог 21 века должен все ж таки демонстрировать высокий уровень культуры отношений, культуры сотрудничества, высокий уровень коммуникации с субъектами образовательного процесса. И если это будет, мы будем иметь успех. Спасибо за внимание. Thank you. Uh, thank, you very, uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Shular, for your presentation. And especially, thank you very much for your work and such uh, comprehensive approach in the region when you are not only uh, implementing the one uh, Aflatot curricula, but you're also looking beyond it and also investing a lot of the preparation of teachers and increasing their capacity. Uh, thank you very much for that. I would like to say that we will be able to share presentation uh, with everybody, uh, all the presentation from, from this session. And please, if you have questions, uh, you can uh, type them in a chat to Mr. Schuller. And then afterwards, we will be able to, uh, to ask the questions and hear the answers. And it's always possible to reach out via us, to via email with the more specific, more bigger question if, uh, if the other partners from other countries uh, would like to uh, learn more uh, about this experience. Uh, now uh, we are... So we are uh, also kindly ask uh, Mr. Schuller to, shop, to stop sharing your screen. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, so now we have a second partner uh, who, is, uh, who is going to present their experience of contextualization of Latin materials in their circumstances, in their realities. This is the Habitat Association. And we have two speakers, Elif uh, Hoknur, uh, training coordinator and Fatih Goyunu, project manager from Aflatur Habitat. So, uh, yeah, dear colleagues, the floor is yours. Uh, yeah, you have a floor now. Hello, everybody. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, welcome to our session uh, from Financial Literacy. Uh, my name is Fatih. Uh, I'm working as the Financial Awareness Program as a project manager. Uh, it's, uh, and my friend, uh, she's Elif, uh, and uh, working as Financial Awareness Program Training Coordinator. And she will continue after me. And uh, I would like to start uh, our uh, association or financial awareness program. Uh, and firstly, uh, I would like to say uh, our agenda, uh, introducing my habitat of uh, introduction of habitat association and the financial awareness program and digital training activity. We would like to briefly explain to habitat association and our work, and then want to talk about our educational content, content and the 
benefits of, benefits of Aflatun education content. And uh, firstly, we would like to introduce Habitat Association. Uh, Habitat works uh, with young volunteers na nationwide or, and aims to in increase role of youth in activities for sustainable development. Uh, Habitat target disadvantages people in the Turkey and can reach individuals in the local easily, easily with is the HUG network. We implement various programs with different focuses with uh, our partners for, uh, from different sectors. Uh, and since uh, 1997, Habitat Association has been uh, collaborating with government and local governments, the private sector and NGOs. Uh, Visa Europe, Microsoft Turkey, Turkey Vodafone Foundation, Turk Telecom Group and Cisco Network Academy are some uh, partners uh, the Habitat currently work with. Uh, and uh, we are working as a strategy partner of uh, in UNDP uh, and Habitat also supports the SDGs, which uh, is a project. And we have, uh, uh, four, we have uh, four uh, programs in Habitat, uh, and we have a total of uh, 21 ongoing projects, the scope of uh, these four programs. And digital transformation uh, programs aims to uh, raise awareness, uh, awareness among uh, individual and developer uh, their digital skills. And financial awareness aim to raise awareness uh, about using financial service and uh, proper planning of financial resources and fighting against the informational economy. And entrepreneurship uh, programs improve, improves uh, entrepreneurship uh, prospection uh, in, in cares, innovates uh, and ideas and generate sustainable business model. And social economic cohesion aim uh, aims to uh, create and social cohesion uh, among refuge, refugees, uh, the host community and community effect, affected by immigrations. Uh, and, sorry, uh, and uh, it supports and level, livelihood focusing entrepreneurship and employment. And uh, I would like to adding something. Uh, we launched co community centers uh, or hub, hubs in partner with Facebook. Uh, these are physical areas uh, where different social groups communicate, communities and business can network. Uh, this is a sharing environment to enhance collaboration in order to in increase the capacity of uh, CMEs, entrepreneurship and other groups support sustainable development. And all the dissemination methods uh, to train volunteers with a uh, training of trainings, uh, sharing our content and all the trainings we uh, uh, perform uh, are free for of charge. This method has been chosen uh, as a best practice model uh, by many countries. And uh, we have, uh, these are, uh, you just see in this are uh, target groups uh, and, and also we created a card game for high school and university students, uh, which is called is pocket money games. Uh, student play this game after the training uh, and we will talk more about this game uh, uh, le later uh, and after I would like to it's uh, our general topics uh, you can you can see in this slide general topics and of uh, our trainings uh, these are spending plan uh, accumulation and debt and financial uh, security investment and financial rates uh, we explain to we explain to we explain these these uh, general topics according to needs of the target uh, audience by differentiating uh, them with examples that they can understand. Uh, for example, while we are telling individual uh, about personal budget, uh, we are telling entrepreneurship both uh, personal budget and business budget, and we we provide in, in, information to a women's cooperatives about cooperatives as well as financial issues. Uh, we are telling the farmers up to date information about uh, agriculture loans and supports. Uh, and before pandemic, uh, we access it uh, to uh, 205,000 people with face-to-face -face training and events, uh, all, all of the uh, Turkey. And 
I would like to even access uh, data uh, because uh, it, we have a lot of work in pandemic situation uh, and there and uh, before and after. We organized our activities by uh, touching the target audience uh, on the field uh, with COVID-19. We were concerned about how to com compen compensate for the work they carried about it uh, in the field during uh, the pandemic period. And we quickly move it all of uh, move it all our activities to digital. Uh, first of all, we started to organize online trainings uh, by adapting them with digital learning methods, and we update uh, we update the con content of uh, financial literacy and financial risk management training uh, for entrepreneurs as they have different needs during the pandemic. Uh, we designed an online workshop in uh, order to. Uh, uh, rise and awareness about the SDGs. Uh, we are organizing training of trainings for volunteers who will disseminate uh, financial literacy uh, training for the uh, blue collar employees uh, in their company and factory. Uh, we have developed a new cooperation model with local governments and, and regional hubs and created a digital education campaign to reach a wider audience. We conducted our trainings uh, on different platforms, uh, such as YouTube, uh, in order to increase accessibility. We organized live stream webinars where details uh, and suggestions uh, on the agenda were shared by experts in the field. Uh, and we started publishing financial issues agenda where we share the research we read and a create database on facts. Uh, we complete uh, all this information with uh, our volunteers, which also motivated them to, uh, to uh, get, gather and share data. Uh, we start this study, which we call Financial Awareness Program Weekly Agenda uh, in April. And uh, we organized in two workshops uh, to develop new strategies for the program. Uh, one of them was with experts from the public and private sector, and other was with our expert volunteers, trainers. Uh, according to data uh, obtained uh, at the end of the workshop, we quickly started working, working by determine, determining a brand a new roadmap. <coughs> and uh, we are talking about a new strategy. Uh, Elif is uh, going to uh, continue. Uh, thank you so much. For All right. Thank you, Fatih. Hello, everyone. My name is Elif. I am working as Financial Awareness Program Training Coordinator. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, our new strategies. Uh, can you pass this slide, yeah. Fatih, please? Thank you. All right. Uh, unfortunately, it was impossible uh, for us to reach women's cooperatives that could not uh, continue their activities online during the pandemic. This was also true for farmers, too. Uh, the economic crisis due to the pandemic affected these two masses very much. We have seen that these target audience, uh, the audiences need more than the awareness training uh, and we are creating a, a more comprehensive support program. Uh, we are making the financial literacy training program more comprehensive. In that regard, we aim for women's uh, cooperatives to catch up with uh, our century and understand better the future, uh, which will uh, turn into and active workforce. We are developing the uh, capacity building program for women's uh, cooperatives that is not limited to education. We aim for them to build uh, their e-commerce infrastructure uh, where they can sell their products, uh, carry out uh, advertising and visibility activities, and increase their capacities by providing them uh, with the information they need in the use of online sales channels. We also renewed our training program, which enables farmers to make personal and uh, business budgets, uh, create saving plans, uh, learn about investment tools, realize borrowing and learn about agricultural loans and agricultural pension insurance according to the needs of farmers today. 
We plan to increase financial literacy awareness uh, farmers, but uh, by broadcasting on an agriculture uh, themed TV channel. And uh, Fatih told it before, uh, this is Pocket Money Games. Uh, and it is the first game, uh, first, fi first financial literacy card game in Turkey. Uh, we developed it uh, within the scope of the I Can Manage My Money project. Uh, the aim of this game uh, is to increase uh, the financial awareness and uh, literacy of young people, uh, make saving habits, achieve a healthy economic growth, and uh, gain financial awareness by supporting SDGs. Now, we uh, started to work on integrating this game uh, with digital uh, as a mobile application. Also, uh, we have a, a mobile application, it's Manage Your Money, and uh, that uh, allows tracking personal budget. Uh, we are making it a user-friendly mobile application that uh, will appeal to the uh, use of all ages, including various game gamification techniques and uh, our educational content, especially digital financial literacy. Many more innovations will be added uh, to the future versions. And I want to talk about uh, our partnership with Eflatun. Uh, in uh, 2016, uh, we worked on including some contents of Eflatun in uh, social studies and uh, mathematics textbooks uh, and curriculum with the approval of the Ministry of Education. And uh, in the upcoming period, we aim to adapt and uh, disseminate the uh, 15 years old or younger contents according to our country uh, by using Eflatun contents. And uh, thank you for this content uh, share with us. And um, we believe that uh, financial literacy awareness should be occurred uh, from childhood and uh, we intend to prepare a training content uh, that will appeal to them. Uh, we preparing our training, uh, we use the curriculum and content uh, shared by uh, uh, Eflatun. And uh, Eflatun provides uh, us uh, with, with basic and very useful resources. And each country uh, implements this content uh, with different methods according to their education system or cultural structure, uh, etc. And we will also uh, adapt to con this content uh, to our target audience according to the education system in Turkey. And the, uh, our last topic is uh, the digital financial literacy. Uh, with the de development of technology, uh, we are creating new uh, educational content in order to inform all our uh, target audiences. Uh, financial technologies are rapidly developing and gaining great importance uh, in our lives. You can pass this slight party and uh, thank you for your listening and thank you Eflatun for your uh, sharing uh, your content with us. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you Elif. Uh, thank you Fati. I'm always inspiring how the Eflatun uh, with the uh, partners inspiring can reach such huge amount of people started for the from the preschool uh, children and up to the farmers and women from cooperatives i can see the uh uh yeah i can see the one question from lilith uh, to elif elif could you please elaborate more on workshop for women cooperatives so if you can uh, quickly answer to this question we have a couple of minutes to that all right, uh, we, uh, we are, uh, 
All right. Uh, we have a, a training. Uh, it's a financial literacy for women corporations. It includes the uh, normal uh, general uh, topics, uh, budget, personal and uh, business budget, uh, and uh, investment savings, etc. But instead of this, uh, we uh, normally we are telling about the uh, cooperative structure and um, how can we uh, cooperate in Turkey and what is the uh, processes uh, to be a cooperation. And uh, now uh, we uh, realize that uh, it's not enough for them. And uh, we are trying to uh, a capacity program uh, we will choose um, maybe uh, 10 women cooperatives and uh, we will support them uh, and for their uh, e-commerce system. We will support them maybe uh, with technology in, for example, in laptop and the tablet and the digital transformation education and a little bit uh, and the social marketing education and like that. And we want to follow following to one year in 10 or 20 cooperatives in Turkey. And we want to support uh, and we uh, want to looking for improving and, uh, and growing in cooperatives in the in year and like that. Uh, and we want. Uh, we will start. I think so in fe uh, in February. It's it's maybe. And mm -hmm. after choose it, uh, some uh, cooperatives, and we will uh, start this program. Uh, it's uh, a long in one year. Uh, it's that's all. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much, Elif and Fati. And we have uh, another question from uh, Kyrgyzstan. If it's possible to get the. Uh, your website and I think it's preferably English version so that the people will be able to learn more about the habitat so if I you will be if you if you just type it in a chat I think it will be good and everybody will see it thank I you well I will write this chat yeah. book and uh, you will visit our website and our social media uh, and we can uh, meet with together and we can organize and all of the partners we can organize in, in live stream or broadcast and we can uh, meet a new uh, work uh, from the uh, it's online world uh, and uh, thank you so much for uh, everything yeah. uh, thank you thank you so much uh, uh, now we are uh, having a short break uh, five minutes technical break uh, so uh, yeah even even more even more like six minutes uh just for stretching our legs to to do some exercises not to sit in uh in a chair for two hours and i am asking everybody to to come back at 12 o'clock yeah thank you so we are not so you should not uh look out just stay look in mute it but yeah, just maybe switch off the camera and do your stuff, what's necessary for, for this break. And see you at 12 o'clock, everybody. Okay, thank you.
our innovation, our, our new uh, curricula and our new vision, how we would like to go forward. Uh, yeah, so Michelle, if you, yeah, so yeah. You, the clause is yours. I'm also currently asking to speak clear and a little bit slowly, so to let, uh, to let our interpreters to translate it into the Russian. Yeah, thank you. Great, thank you. Please interrupt me, Tatiana, if I should go slower. Okay. Sometimes I lose my <laughs> lose my way. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Good morning. Yes, my name is Michelle, a senior curriculum manager at Afla Tune. Mostly here today to talk about Afla Youth. That is our newest curriculum. And for some of you, it is not new. Maybe you came to the international conference last year. Some partners in the call today were also a part of the process for creating or testing AFLA youth or for working on a, on a similar project uh, with similar AFLA youth content. But we thought it's now even more relevant than ever, this type of content with the COVID-19 pandemic. I can imagine that many of the, of the youth or young people that some of you work with have lost jobs or lost business if they have a small business or have found it more difficult to, uh, to find employment or to understand what they can do next. So we're really talking here about skills for resilience, as you see on the, on the slide, upskilling, reskilling, and we believe AFLA youth can really support that. Um, for those of you who uh, don't know it, AFLA Youth, the Sustainable Livelihoods Training Program. It's available uh, as a four book set. The first three books are the content. The fourth book is a resource toolkit, which includes a coach reference guide, coach mentor reference guide and extension activities. And I will follow through now a little bit to talk about uh, the structure of the program and we'll show you a little bit more about what's inside each book. So again, it's the, the core content is in three books. Um, book one has two parts, as you see in the picture. One part being the social skills and part two being the financial skills. This is very recognizable if you are a longtime Afflatoon partner. It's the core SFE content, so social financial education content for an older age group, for youth. Um, we do follow the same five, uh, five core uh, core themes, core pillars of Afflatoon. And we try to make the social and financial uh, content just more, more practical and more focused on this transition to work uh, aspect. At the end of book one, the youth are led to a moment of decision. So is it better for them to follow the employability track, which is book two? Or is it better to follow the entrepreneurship track, book three? It is possible in your program to do all three, but then you have approximately 37 sessions, which is quite a long, heavy program. We think it's more successful and more effective if you would do this track system and encourage youth to do either employability or the entrepreneurship track. In that case, uh, like for example, book one and two as a program, that is approximately 27 sessions. So that's a little bit more manageable. 
because Afro youth is more applied and more practical, we do make some implementation and programmatic advice to consider spacing out the sessions more so that youth have more time in between each meeting to really try to apply the knowledge that they've learned. Um, I will explain a little bit more on that in a few slides. And as you see here, the resource toolkit supports the whole book. If you use the coach guide in, in the resource toolkit, it gives guidance for each, for each moment in the book, for each part of all of the books on where a coach or mentor could be useful. How did we arrive at Afflu Youth? Like I said, some of you in this call were involved. Thank you very much. And it really was a, a network partner and Afflatoon Secretariat combined um, uh, sort of uh, initiative. The, uh, it's a new target group for Afflatoon content. So it's age 16 to 24. That is an approximate age recommendation. Um, we understand there are big differences within this age range. We also understand some countries recognize or uh, define youth as, a, as something else. So I know some countries define youth as even age 30, for example. We think we built the content in a way that can address these differences. There's guidance for the facilitator and in the training of trainers manual on how to adjust for the younger age if to make it perhaps more hypothetical, more, more uh, theory or practice based. And for the older age groups to try to really apply it to real job opportunities and real, um, real small businesses. As I said, the social and financial skills uh, book one links to the five core elements of Aflatoon. You will recognize that there's just a stronger focus in Afla youth on the transition to work, transferable skills, um, and uh, real economic independence. Cross-cutting themes, of course, are gender, uh, gender equality. We tried to be more, uh, we tried to be mindful of inclusion. And specifically for Afli youth, we also tried to be mindful of the rural communities and how uh, this type of content or focus um, is perhaps different. There's a, in the rural communities, there's a lot of self-employment. And, and even though in, in all communities, there's a, there's, um, a strong prevalence of multiple income streams. So we recognize that many young people don't, uh, don't receive money, don't have income just from one thing, but maybe it's three or four things. We really recognize that in the content and, uh, and how specifically that is true for rural communities. Um, for the expected outcomes, I will come to that at the end of the, towards the end of the presentation. In the, social, uh, in the social skills part of book one, we aligned it to the EU lifelong learning competencies. And as I mentioned, we are looking a lot at those transferable social skills for appropriate for the age group. And it's still a rights-based curriculum like all Aflatoon content. Here you see two examples of, of sessions, critical thinking and overcoming obstacles and standing up for my rights. The financial domain, this is a little difficult to see the graph. Um, we will share this presentation after, you can have a better look. You can also look directly at the content, of course. We presented the financial skills in a cycle we wanted to really reinforce with the Afli youth content that assessing your finances, for example, session one, is an ongoing process. This is really a cycle. Thinking about my saving, my spending, 
my budgeting. It's it's really a cycle of of um, you know something you should review. You know, perhaps more than once in the year or as your financial situation changes. That's why you see it presented here as a as a circle. A few new things in the financial topics are some digital finance content. And we look into investment, not just investment of your money, but how your time is also an investment. Okay. In the employment track, we cover, of course, so essential competencies necessary for transitioning to work and understanding how to identify their own skills, how to uh, read and, and read between the lines on potential job opportunities and to see, yeah, like you see here, skills for success in the workplace as an employee. Also very important to understand rights and responsibilities at work because we're really promoting, of course, decent work opportunities. And there are the practical elements included such as CV, uh, resume writing, cover letter writing and job interview practice. Moving on, last track, the entrepreneurship track. Uh, I like to call it a semi-practical um, entrepreneurship curriculum. It definitely goes beyond theory, uh, but it doesn't, and it does, but it doesn't go quite so far to, to um, really bring in funding or uh, necessarily, um, it, there's not enough time in the curriculum to really uh, see an enterprise idea all the way, or um, uh, launch all the way through. The idea here is to ideally, as an implementing partner, to partner with a local impact hub, a local um, entrepreneurship booster type organization, and give the youth as much time as possible in between sessions to really work on their idea, understand access to finance, understand business, um, uh, business finance, and see their idea come to life through a pitch. And then, you know, hopefully there is a partnership program for them that could maybe help them further to really launch their business couple of example sessions such as adding value. So innovating with your business idea. And like I mentioned, business. Uh, so again, finance sessions specifically for entrepreneurship. Okay. Uh, nearly, nearly finished. Hope you're still with me. Uh, oh yeah, we just wanted to point out and you're, you're uh, part of you are well represented here in this, uh, in this image. We have some experience using AFLA Youth now, uh, like I mentioned, in other projects. So it's not necessarily with the AFLA Youth name, but it is the AFLA Youth content. Um, both initiatives actually uh, featured here were with SOS Children's Villages. The top book you see is the YES program, the EU for Youth YES program, which was Ukraine, Belarus, and Armenia. And we've done some further work as well, um, interacting with, I believe, Georgia and maybe Tatiana can, can fill in on, on anything else that I might have forgotten. But also the Next Economy program, which is throughout the countries you see highlighted in Africa. Um, currently, it's available just in English, but coming, uh, coming we're starting now this year and going into early next year, we are translating into Spanish, Arabic, French, and Russian. And yeah, ideally to be finalized by early next year. On top of that, there is contextualization support available. We are always happy to talk to you about additional languages, possibility for how to make that happen, how to make a contextualized version, we have a very uh, concrete contextualization guide that we could share with you that could help you contextualize yourself. For the training of trainers, we're looking at a blended learning approach guidance 
So it's not necessarily in the content curriculum. Right now, this is a print and face-to-face -face based curriculum, but we're, we are looking at, yeah, blended learning approach guidance in the TOT. We can also carry out a virtual training of trainers if necessary, although I think many of us would love to travel again next year. <laughs> I miss face-to-face -face training. And Maxwell, my colleague, will talk a little bit more on the direction Aflatoon is headed in digitalization. Uh, yeah, thank you, Michelle. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one question uh, for you. Pedagogical mastery is crucial element alongside the brilliant uh, content developed. How to balance both pedagogical and content? Yeah. Um, great point. I think as with, I think as with all Afflatoon content, the pedagogical element is still very strong in the training of trainers in the facilitator guide. It's true. This is a slightly more adult learner that we're f almost that we're targeting here. This is rather technical and advanced curriculum. It takes a little bit more training for uh, for yourself or for the facilitators that you use and it's somewhat of a different approach and style to the facilitation so for the for the pedagogy side but it's still a very important uh, aspect of the you know for the effectiveness of the program and that is still a very strong element in the training of trainers yeah. Thank you, Michelle. And then one question, it's uh, more about not content wise, but the um, copyright. So if the organization would like to print out the book, like the physical book, but with the, some, uh, uh, some finance which are coming from the donor or sponsor, is it allowed to, to mention this donor or sponsor in the cover of the book who is financed the publishing? Yes, definitely. I think for any Afflatoon network uh, member, partner, I, as far as I have known from experience, I think it is no problem. We can share with you the, the book. Uh, it is always wise to also uh, have on board a graphic designer because they need to work with the designed files. Um, we, it, we don't have a, you know, this is really done in, um, in InDesign. So you do need to be mindful of maintaining, you know, the good, good look. Of the of the book, but and to help you edit, but yes, and we, with uh, if you stay in contact with, for example, Tatiana, and with Aflatoon, and uh, we see, you know, if we could be in contact about what the changes are, but beyond that, it's no problem. You make the changes that are necessary for your local context. You can, in that way, republish it, and if it's from another donor. Um, you can add their logo and add them to the acknowledgements page. We, I think the easiest thing is to put some sort of uh, like badge or kind of sticker on the cover that shows that it's, you know, that it's your, um, uh, that it's for your specific region or country. Yeah. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, so yeah, if please, if you have, would have more questions and um, yeah, reach out to, to us and we will answer them, uh, definitely. And uh, so we are now coming to the, our, uh, our digital learning and innovation. And uh, I would like to see Maxwell. Yeah, Maxwell, yeah, nice to meet you. Hello, we can see you. So yeah, I would like to introduce- Hi, Tatiana. Maxwell. Hi, Maxwell. Uh, my colleague, uh, our digital manager, and he will be able to tell uh, all of you what, what's currently developed and what's our vision about the digitalization of the content and yeah, and trainings and so on and so on. Yeah, floors is your Maxwell, and please speak slowly and with some interaction to let to let it be translated by the way michelle thank you it was it was very good <laughs> thank you it was brilliant thank you yes thanks and i've been reminded by liliana apologies that we 
definitely have also worked with Serbia and Albania under the Girl Act project, which was a combination of some of the Afla youth content and the Afla teen plus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you. Okay, um, good afternoon to you all. Uh, my name is Maxwell. Um, I'm with the Digital Learning and Innovation team. First and foremost, I'd like to apologize. You see me looking somewhere. My cam is below my taskbar. So if I do this, then I'm looking at you, but then I have to, when I'm like this, I'm facing the screen. So you see me looking away. I'm actually staring at my screen right now, and I'd like to apologize for that. If you feel the lack of engagement and with the eyes and everything else. Um, this morning or afternoon, I want to present to you three core things that Afflatoon has been working on and we're looking at continuing to work on um, when it comes to digital space. I'm sure a lot of you are asking, what does Afflatoon bring into the table in this COVID times? Like everyone is doing something digital. Why isn't Afflatoon, you know, coming up with different things? Um, if you can't see my screen, please let me know. If, if it's too small, let me know so I, I see people squinting. If it's too small, let me know so I can... Maximize yeah. it. We can we can see it, Maxwell. But if you will be able to speak a little bit loudly, sure, that sure, yeah, well, yeah, that's okay. better. Is it better? Be better for translation. Okay, thank you. Right. Okay. So um, I'm here to present you three things that Afflatoon is doing um, digitally: um, a product for the children, and of course um, the the, um, the the youth, um, a product for trainers and teachers, and a product for your organization. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are asking what Afflatoon has been up to in this COVID times. Actually, we had been planning like five, six years ahead of time. Um, it so happens that uh, by COVID, we have to expedite um, our actions and also the product development. So I'm going to start by talking about the product targeting the children and the youth. Um, we, we do have courses. Um, we are developing courses um, based on the different themes that exist in Afflatoon. So you're talking about, you know, savings and needs and want and entrepreneurship and all those things. We have courses that are available on, on, um, on Facebook. We also have courses that are available, um, you know, that you can get access to if you want. We noticed the need for a lot of contextualization. So what we did was we didn't really create like final, final courses that someone can go through. We do have the different elements of the course. So for example, the videos, the illustrations and the text. And I'm sure a lot of you received links um, when the COVID started around, I think April, May, um, a package from Afflatoon that um, when you open, you saw a lot of videos and illustrations that you could use to help you develop your own course. Um, and yeah, that you can use to develop your own course. And the goal with that is that we know that it costs a lot of money to develop your own digital product. And so what Affleton basically did was to meet you more than halfway, meaning that if you want to create a course for children or young people um, for digital delivery, you need videos, you need illustrations, you need text. We do have those already existing in what we call the toolkit that was shared with you um, during the onset of the COVID. And we are happy to reshare with you at the end of this presentation where you can have different files to make changes to. So for example, where I'm from, um, you know, we have a certain look. So if you, if you receive the files and you feel that the files do not represent your, your region, you are free to make editing to the file and, and export it in a way that represents your context, for example. And we have the files to help you do that. So that product is targeting children and young people. One thing that we're also doing is, um, is to create courses that are integrated via Messenger and of course, WebBot as well. Currently, if you visit the Affletoon website, if you go to affletoon.org, you'll notice something similar to what I've highlighted down here, what you can see down here highlighted. Um, it's a very quick way to engage with Affletoon content, of course, to see the different things happening in Affletoon. For example, talk about advocacy, talk about curricula, talk about training, talk about digital um, resources. It's a quick way for you to just go through and see what the different things we have. And of course, once you're in, you're able to ask certain questions and the bot would be able to respond to you. This is a new bot, it's still a learning bot. And the goal is to get your feedback and to get more information to develop it, to grow, you know, so that it becomes more interactive. And on the right top, you see the, the, the chat bot. As well, there are people who probably say, I don't have um, enough space on my phone. I only have WhatsApp, I only have um, Facebook. Rest assured, we have created content that can be pushed via um, Facebook as well. So 
So if you go to Facebook, you search for Affleck Twin Chatbot, um, it pops up and then you say hello, it says hi to you back, and then the conversation starts. Of course, keep in mind that this is not the full learning experience. This is just an introduction to the different content Affleck Twin has and the different conversations happening within Affleck Twin um, that you can, you can start. And of course, once you show interest, you can reach out to your PM, in this case, Tatiana, who will then take the conversation forward and then see how we can help you to move this um, forward to benefit you. Um, another product, of course, that we, we're creating for children and the youth, like I said, are videos and illustrations. Um, if you create a course and some, if you create a course and it's all text, it gets boring. You, you miss that engagement, you miss that, you miss that interaction. We are aware of this. So we have made these resources available for you. So like I said, if you wanna create a course on, I don't know, banking or saving or something, we have these files there that if you put the definition of banking or saving or something out there, you will be able to attach these images to help to enhance the text. This is very, very important so that the processing of the information goes just beyond um, you know, sound, but also visually. And then there's no overload in terms of learning. And we do have these resources. And you can make changes to it the way you see it. So you can change the color of the bank. You can change the color of the people in the scene. And we do have the files that will help you do that as well. Um, one thing that we're also doing for the children is we know that it costs thousands and thousands of euros to develop your own apps and your own games. What Affleton is doing is to enter into very um, collaborative partnerships that makes available to you, um, our partner, to use towards the children, of course, different apps. Um, we have apps that can be used for things like this. This is what you call the Raspberry Pi. Um, if you don't have internet in your area, for example, we have partnered with an organization who make, um, who, that makes it available for us to put their app on this particular device. And then you can put your, your, your digital content on there. So once your content is here and you have any phone, any device with, um, inter, um, with Wi-Fi connection, you can connect to this device and then you'll be able to assess the content using this device. It, all you need to do is connect it to a power source and that's it. Um, we, we have that relationship, and so we're happy to also support you with this and to put the content on this for you to benefit you. Of course, we have content that can be delivered via a phone like this, of course, via SMS as well. And we're also aware that even though people, um, you know, th there wouldn't be internet, there probably wouldn't still even be like smartphones and things like that. Affleton has content um, that is purely built for SMS delivery. Um, and one of the things that we're doing with you as our partner is if you show interest or if, if, um, if your, your location is such that this type of content works for you, um, of course, there are a bit of setup that we need to do. Uh, we need to you know, talk to you, look for um, a tel the telco within your, within your context and have a, um, a conversation. And then we're able to set it up for you and push it. Of course, this comes at a cost. I have to say this. Um, putting it here is not free. It comes at a cost. Um, here as well, the only cost is the device. Um, everything else, of course, is the content and every, um, you know, we're happy to support you to make this possible. Um, the next thing that Affleton is working towards is a um, product for trainers and teachers. We, we, we know for a fact that trainers or teachers are integral to the whole cycle the Affleton believes in. And so we haven't left you behind. We have been working on different types of courses to help you, first of all, to build your own capacity. Second, to help you to, to, um, uh, to revise on everything you've learned in terms of the face-to-face -face training or the training that I do online. And the third thing is to give you the resources that you can use to train other trainers or children. And so just to sort of give you a brief um, outline of, of what you see on your screen. Um, the first, what I mean by um, refreshing is that once you go to a face-to-face -face training, usually the conversation ends, right? So there's no follow-up with you with a trainer. There's no sharing of resources after you don't know what's happening with someone who went to the training. What Affleton is trying to do is bring all these things under one umbrella. So the training doesn't end on the last day. The training continues. But what, what I mean by that is that at that point, the learning becomes your responsibility. So you can share your experiences with, with, with the others who were part of the training, of course, you can ask questions to your trainer or to whoever, um, you know, to, to the people who participated in the training and chances are someone is gonna get back to you. So what Affleton basically is doing is that we, are, we have this platform and I'm gonna talk about it later. We have this platform 
where we, we bring the training together. So once you go through a face-to-face -face training or you go through an online training, um, the materials are there for you for up to a year. That's the first thing. The second thing is that all the participants who are part of the training are still connected as long as they haven't left the platform. And you can continue to share ideas and experiences and you can revise um, after the training as well. That way you are able to, in case you need quick information to make a decision about a training or to move something forward, the information is at your fingertips to just engage and make a decision. The second part of what we're trying to basically do is to um, create different types of training, create different, different types of training that gives you the capacity to train other trainers and other children. So what I mean by that is, like my colleague said, face-to-face -face training is like the gold standard. That is true. And digital learning is growing to that point where we believe that by applying the right methodologies, you can achieve equally effective results. Now, Afflatoon has been working on this for a very long time, and COVID has given us opportunity. Of course, we've been doing this, but it, COVID, even in spite of all the negative things happening, um, has sort of given us opportunity to bring this to the front. Um, what is happening basically now is that we are organizing online training that is purely online. Um, and, and the difference between that training and the regular online training is that they train, this training will come with project works. That is one of the first things. The second thing is that this training will be facilitator-led. So the courses or the content that we're putting up, uh, making available for teachers and trainers would be used for facilitator-led training. So in this case, we will organize twice a year or three times a year, or once a year, um, training, um, training. That would take you through a series of activities like you do for a face-to-face. That will give you the option to do project work. The project work could be based on the individual modules or it could be based on um, a topic that you pick, similar to what you do in your bachelor's or in your master's, right? And the idea is to really, really, really make sure that the, whatever training you receive, you have the capacity to indeed um, teach other people or use the same skill to teach other children. So our training is not just come sit down and you know, be through a live session and that's it. You go through the live session, you have to do assignments, you have to do project work, you have to do um, discussions and there will be rubrics or should I say marking scheme to help you, you know, to help us really um, quantify the effort you bring to the table. That can make us definitely say, okay, this person has learned enough and has proven enough to be able to deliver the training as a master trainer or as a trainer for children and things like that. Um, and so as you see on your screen, of course, there'll be different levels of certification. So it will not be one certificate for everyone. It will be certification based on your level of mastery. So there'll be certification for those who go to the facilitator led training. So a typical training will be led by say someone like Tatiana or Michelle who is here or any of the global master trainers who has the exp experience and the expertise to do that. And then there's the other training where you go through this course by yourself and then you do a project work. So there's a certification level for that as well. And then there's a revision, uh, the, the refresher certificate where you just go through based on having done a previous course and you just get a certificate for that. So something like this we're doing for trainers and teachers. And the last part is that you can, or the teacher can use these resources to train other trainers or teachers. So you don't have to go create your own resources from scratch. What we're trying to do is make sure that the resources we're putting together in these courses, you, the teacher or the trainer can use it to conduct your own training outside of this environment if, if you choose to do so. Now, the last part of the product we're bringing to you is a product for your organization. We talked about the children or the youth, talk about you, the trainer, and then for your organization. My colleague, Michelle, again, talked about the Affleton curricula. What we're trying to do now is to digitalize the curriculum, not digitizing, digitalize it, meaning that we're bringing technology to it rather than converting just, you know, to PDF and videos and things like that. What's basically going to happen is that going forward, when you hear about the Afla youth curricula, instead of having access to PDFs, it's going to be videos and interactive tables and illustrations or images. Now, what I mean by that is if you pick the curricula, and you say you open um, unit one, they are talking about answer the ball. Answer the ball currently as it is now in the curricula, it's a stream of text that you have to read. Okay, step one, do this, step two, do this, step three, do this. Now what is gonna happen is that we convert 
that step into a video so the person can just watch the video with the instruction and understand it rather than having to read the text. That's the first thing. The second thing is that usually in the curriculum, it's a lot of tables and illustrations that when you're gonna do a face-to-face -face training, you print the table or the illustration and share and people can see and engage with it. One thing we're gonna do is that now you can share the table or illustration as an interactive PDF file. So the, mid, the, the image you see in the middle of the screen, the tree of life, um, would have um, text columns around it so that you can say, okay, for the fruit, everything is already indicated. When a person inserts their text and then they can send it to you for verification or correction or mapping or whatever it is that we're gonna talk about. The same thing for the whole tree, we're gonna do that. So all images or illustrations in the table are going to become um, interactive. The third part, of course, like I said, it, all the tables we have, it won't just be um, PDF tables where you just print and share. It will be tables where someone you can send to someone and they will actually enter a text into the table and send to you. Our goal, I'm um, looking at where, where technology and training and everything is heading, is to, is to ease, ease the process that you sort of have to go through, first of all, to use Afflaton curricula. And secondly, to make it easy for you to organize your own training online. And thirdly, as well, is to make it easy for you to um, you know, minimize the amount of text that you have to engage with and read you know, going forward. Because we know that if it's a 10, it's a 50 page or 100 page document, um, we will focus on certain parts that we feel you only need as my, um, you know, to help you going forward. Um, the last part of the product for your organization is the Affletum Partner Platform. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it. Some of you um, have already joined. And the goal for Afflatoon, um, and of course, having listened to you, all our partners, um, is that we know that you want to know what's happening across the world in all the other you know, regions. You want to know what your partner is doing somewhere in Africa or somewhere in the, in the, in the Americas region. For us, this is one of our answer, um, our, uh, our sort of way to um, 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 answer your request. Um, here you have access to all Affleton partners within the network once they are plugged in into the platform. Um, you can share your experiences and you can get invitation to meetings and different things like this. And you will notice that if you go on the platform now, a lot of meetings have been put there, events have been put there. Ordinarily, you wouldn't know what's happening in, in all the other regions, but this is posted there. So if you have time, you can join meetings and share experience and listen to what's going on globally. Certain information are also repetitive uh, within, within your request to the PM on also with So for example, you probably sent the same email requesting for links to a certain curricula and the, the email took one week, or should I say it took, you got the email but you couldn't suddenly find it in your, in your inbox or something like that. One thing we're trying to do is put all the different curricula that you need into this space. So you join the platform, there's your region, you, you request to join the region. Tatiana has, um, has the right to accept you into the region based on certain conditions that she would come up with. And I'm sure a lot of you are already part of the, the, the Europe region. And then within that, you have access to the full Affleton curricula. And this time it comes with ex, a short description of the curricula. Ordinarily, you have to read the whole curricula or even read like the acknowledgement or something like the preface to have an understanding of this. But what we've, what we've done with this is that you now see um, a description of the whole curricula and the different parts of the curricula that you can actually copy and paste to use in a proposal or something if you choose to do so, right? And this is also our way of bringing you together to share your experiences, to connect and see what's happening. If you attended the Afflatoon, um, what do you call it? The Afflatoon International Conference, you notice we're using an app. This particular platform is an upgraded version of that particular app. It has more features, more functions. There's a mobile version of the app. Um, and if, if I may, Tatiana, I just want to switch quickly to the, the platform. How many minutes do I have? I just want to switch to the, the live platform and show something quickly. Yeah, maximum like maybe five minutes. OK, all right. That we so will I have the time for a couple of questions and summing, summing up afterwards. All right, so I'm Up just going to. Three, okay. four, five minutes, yeah. Sure, OK. Okay, so 
as I was saying, this is the live Aflatoon partner platform. And I wanted to show you something, something briefly. Um, there's a mobile version of the app and the way to get it. So to join your region, once you gain access into the app, once you gain access into the app, you go to regions. And in this case, your region is Europe and Central Asia. You, you have to request to join. Once you get access to it, you have to go under topics to see all the different conversations happening within Aflatoon, for example. So the different partners that are within your region, if you want to know about them, their details are here for you. Um, as well, if you want to know all access, curricular to access to all curricula is also here with a very succinct description. Like I said, events, you know what is happening, you know what is happening, it's not posted here yet, but I'll show you on the main page as well. What I want to show you basically is that you can, you can put the app on your phone. So you go to about on the app, you scroll all the way down, it's going to ask you to put your phone number. So you put your phone number starting with your country code you're gonna receive a text message. And then in the text, it will give you a link and you click on the link. It takes you either to the, app, um, to the Google Play or the, uh, the App Store, and then you can download the app. The name of the app is this, Mighty Networks. It's not Affleck and it's Mighty Networks. But once you are done installing the app, it will, it will ask you if you want to locate an existing um, network and then you put Affleck in there. Afletoon comes up, you accept it, then you insert your username and password. But you have to create an account here first before you can do that because then it's easier for you. Um, what I meant by connecting to other events happening globally is that you can see here, ordinarily you wouldn't know what's happening, but once you come here, you know every event happening and if it's posted here, happening within the Afletoon network, you are free to join any event. You can learn what's happening. You can learn tricks that are um, happening other partner sizing and things like that, of course. And this is one way, like I said, of connecting with other people as well. You see all the partners who are live, you can connect with them, you can chat with them. In the regions, there's a general chat option um, that would be used, but I'm not gonna talk a lot about this because I have a colleague who also probably mentioned this briefly to you as well. So this is it um, overall for my end. I don't know if there are any questions um, for us. Yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Maxwell, uh, for sharing all the digital innovation which we have so far. I know that a lot of partners have been reached out to me and to Maxwell with uh, some particular question how to integrate the current digital curriculum into their strategy. So please, uh, if if you have the if you have the intent to do it please reach out to us, we will help you with that. Also, I know that a lot of partners has been already, have been already uh, joined the partner app. Uh, we are very welcome to see you there and we are asking you to interact with, uh, with yourself, ask questions, we will be very happy to, to provide the answers. Uh, so before we are going to, uh, so we are slowly going to the closing to the summing up. And uh, before the summing up, there were two questions uh, during the break to the, our Turkish uh, representatives from Habitat. Uh, so the first question was uh, why, uh, so when you present, so I hope there are Turkish Turkish uh, Turkish colleagues are still uh, still here with us. Uh, so the first question was, uh, when you choose your target group, uh, why you decided to uh, to choose the farmers and the women cooperatives? That was the first question, and the second question, uh, when uh, so how you how you focus in, how you pointed out on the gender aspects when you're working with the women cooperatives. So yeah, I can see Elif, if you can elaborate a little bit to this question. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to tell, uh, answer your question. Uh, uh, why we choose uh, farmers and women cooperation? Uh, because uh, Farmers uh, take money uh, for periodically, and uh, they uh, it's very difficult to manage this money uh, for them. So uh, we uh, realized the, this need, and uh, we uh, 
create a, a content for them. And uh, it's same for the women cooperatives at the same time. And uh, because of this, actually. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, and the gender, if you like target any gender issue during your work uh, with the women cooperatives. Yes, uh, women cooperatives um, not earn uh, like other uh, corporations uh, so it's a bit different uh, because they uh, product their uh, handmade things uh, generally and uh, so uh, we wanted to tell them uh, the business life and uh, the business budget how can they uh, manage it and um, also the corporation system Generally. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Elif. Uh, thank uh, you for yeah. your question. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Jan, uh, please, uh, if you would like to give us some summing up for this session, it would be very, uh, very grateful. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, Tatiana and your team uh, in Amsterdam for doing this for all of us uh, and um, all the presenters. Uh, this is really interesting that finally this, the online world is uh, getting, I think, under our skin. I was just telling my colleagues this morning that my niece actually had the high school graduation online, uh, which is kind of a sad moment, uh, but they did have to say, stay at home and each was greeting, I mean, each was toasting uh, one another with a glass of champagne from their, from their homes, uh, nicely dressed, and their class teacher was giving them the poems of, in Slovak, and they had to do like little stand-up routines. Uh, hopefully, very soon, we will be able to meet with our children and colleagues again uh, in a much tighter uh, quarters, because I think this is not normal for none of us. Uh, but thank you for keeping us uh, close together. And I'm really pleased to see almost 100 people joining uh, every session. So I'm already looking forward to the one in this, uh, the, the third one, uh, yeah, which is coming good. up. Yeah. And uh, this was extremely useful for, I think, all of us. And uh, again, um, thank you. Thank you very much for the great work you've been doing. Uh, thank you very much to all presenters, uh, to Diana, to your support uh, with the old technology. Uh, a lot of appreciation to our interpreters, Julia and Daria. You really make it possible for people from different, different <laughs> parts of the region to be able to participate. Uh, for all your questions, for, uh, for all your interactions and comments, we are very much appreciate them. Very, uh, uh, a lot. So if in some case we miss some comments or questions, uh, we will be able to uh, afterwards to download and to go through all of them. And if necessary, we will be address the answers uh, in person via the mail. Also, I would like to point out that all presentations are going to be sent to the partners maybe not to all not to all participants directly as some of you have been invited through the partners uh, uh, through let's say your main con contact point that uh, your main contact point you know who invite you who share with you the link to the to this uh, session they will be able to provide you with the all presentations uh, yeah unfortunately they are either in English or in Russian so yeah so it's like Two languages depends on the language of a presenter, but the Google is really powerful. It will be able to help <laughs> to help to uh, to translate them as well. We are also recording this session, and after we're finishing our uh, at least three sessions of regional meeting, it's going to be the big summarizing the uh, of the all sessions, and as well we will provide the link to the zoom recording and it would be also possible to listen it again uh, so i think i would like to ask diana to make a photo the print screen a photo for all of us which we are doing in a for social media for our archives to keep all of us smiling and uh, behind our screen so yeah diana if you will be able to make the photo 
Sure. If everyone can show your screen and I'm gonna count one, two, three. Great, I have it. Yeah. Thank you very much again for your participation. Very soon next week at the same time we will meet again. Uh, the latest Friday, uh, I will send the invitation uh, with the agenda that you will be able to join again the next uh, the next meeting. And yeah, see you very soon. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good evening uh, in the Central Asia. And yeah, <laughs> and bye to all of you. It was very nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Спасибо огромное. Спасибо. Yeah, bye.